these little Christmas stars are created using herringbone stitch and they can be used, um, created using crystals or seed beads and they're perfect for hanging on your tree this year. So what do you need? Uh, you're going to need some seed beads or some small crystals. Three millimetre work best but you can work, do, do it with four mil. You're going to need a needle and thread and some, something to condition your thread with. So cut about an arm's length and a bit more a beading thread, stretching it out and make sure you run it through your microcrystalline wax a few times and that's just going to help give it a bit of stiffness to stop it flopping. The great thing about this is you can use any size of seed beads. Obviously the bigger seed beads you use, the bigger your star will be. We're going to pick up 10 seed beads. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And push them down so they sit towards the end of your thread, leaving a bit of a tail thread. And we're going to tie these in a knot. You can just thread through the first few beads, but I find it helps getting your tension if you've got that knot. It stops them slipping and sliding all over the place. Let's tie that nice and tight in a double knot. Thread through the next bead nearest. And pick up two beads. Go through the next one and the next two. And sort of squish them into position roughly. Pick up two more beads. And then thread down and through the next two along. Pick up two more beads and again going through the next two and you're repeating that until you've got five clusters of beads added. And then down through these two and what you're going to do this time is once you've exited that bead, the second bead, might be slightly tight because that's where the knot is, you're going to thread up through the nearest of those two beads on the top. And we're going to pick up three beads. These are just so simple, it's wonderful. You can do anything with these. You can decorate baubles. Oh, I've picked up four. Let's lose one of those. Dear me. Could have sworn I picked up three. At least you can see straight away with this project whether it's gone whether it's gone wrong. So that's my pick up three. Go down the next bead in that stack there. Picking up one bead and going up the next stack. Now you may need to arrange those beads in the next stack with your finger if they're not sitting right. That's fine to do that. Keeping your tension nice and tight all the time. Picking up three more and going down. And you're just repeating rounds in exactly the same way. Adding three onto each stack of two and then a bead in between, going up the nearest of the next stack, threading a bead in between each time, picking up three, going down, picking up a bead and going up, and then the three, so make your point. Picking up bead, going up the stack. Let's get the tail thread out the way. And then my last one, picking up three, going down, 
Now just to finish I need to add one more bead. And it's totally okay to arrange the beads as you go if they don't fall how you want them to. And I'm going to go up the bottom of the stack. And you know which is the bottom because it will be there'll be two beads down. If it gets hooked, just unhook it. Get the tail thread out the way. There we go. And there you have it. And now you may find that's quite nice and stiff. And because I've um, used the wax as well, that's going to help with that. But if it's not, you can just reinforce through it by threading around that outside row again. And I'm just going to work this thread in to that end bead. And then if you wanted to hang them, like I've done with these, you can either just leave it thread or add beads. Or you can use them to add to a bauble. So I finished off all my threads and then just worked, when I was working the netting around, I just worked through the top of that bead. But I'm going to make um, a loop here. So I'm going to work back through that bead in the same direction. Putting my finger in to stop that thread coming through. I'm going to make a stop, a little knot there with a half hitch knot. Just to hold that in place and then working through my beads. So making a couple of half hitch knots, making sure they sit where you want them to and they don't cross over any of the beads. There we go, pulling that tight and then working through a few more beads before trimming. Trimming that off. And now we're going to work in the tail thread and I'm just going to just literally thread through because you've got the knot there. I'm just going to thread through a few of the beads in that circles, central circle. And trim. Not pulling too tightly because you don't want to pull it out to distort it. And there you have it. There's a little Christmas tree dangle. You can easily make this with 3mm bicones and that works really well. If you're going to use 4mm, you're going to need to add a little bead just there, as where I found that it needed the, um, the support because otherwise it flops a bit. And then I reinforced around that central circle a few times as well and then added beads. Or you can add them to a bauble and you've got everything you need to decorate your Christmas tree.